Jeff Ferozone had homestead. What are we looking at? Well, this is a pole with a rack and some solar panels on there. So let's take a closer look at what we've got here. We're talking about the rack first, and then the panels kind of speak for themselves. There are six 260 watt panels, 260 watts each, so they're 1500 watts total. Just to give you an idea on the panels real quick here on how well this is going to come out. That's all the details of my panels. Like I said, I got 60 of them. Or, I got 6 of them, not 60. So, here, so here's what I've done. I've got this conduit leading up to it, and this is 6 gauge wire. And what I've done here, and I'm still going to put caulking down inside here, but I took just that, 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 um, that kind of flex cover that goes on wire, and then I put some electrical tape around it, and I put that around the 6 gauge wire. And the reason why I did that is because the 6 gauge wire and the Arizona sun and rodents wanting to eat it, eat the wire, I figure I want to protect it at least a little bit. So I've done this and I like the way it looks. And it comes up and it goes into this box here and inside this box I have, I have two bus bars so the wires are connected up to the bus bars. And then they go up into my stuff here. I put red here just to help remind me that this is the positives. And that one's the negatives over there. So these are hooked up in the series parallel. Your standard, M what they call it, MC4 connectors. I got some of that uh, zip ties that I got from that auction in that box of goodies so I'm putting all that stuff to good use I'm gonna change the way this here is done but I needed some kind of box to put on this or I needed some way to hold this box onto uh, onto this pole now I kinda have this extra piece sitting out like say and the reason why I do is because this piece here on my uh, pole if I twist this to loosen it I can then change and move my entire rack so right now it's all nice and tight and uh, so it hasn't blown in the wind I had I had about well my uh, my meter read about 60 miles an hour I think it was 57 mile an hour winds yesterday and this thing did not move so I feel good about the way that is. This here is custom made. I did not make it. Um, the guys at, uh, at Alternative Energy Discount, the nonprofit place I bought all my stuff from, they made this. It was only 800 bucks. And uh, basically, he welded it all together and we hooked up the panels. So, um, I this piece here, when I loosen this bolt and I loosen that bolt over there, I can adjust the uh, the height or, or just the angle and right there's kind of a hinge right there's a hinge so I can flex everything all he used was unistruts and we just bolted them together and then we uh, bolted the panels onto the unistruts. Panels are only held on with four bolts, one in each corner. And the thing wobbles a little bit, but let me tell you, in that 60 mile an hour winds I had, no problem at all. So, I got solar on the homestead. So what do you guys think? This hole that I dug is two foot by two foot by four feet deep. I dug all that by hand. It took me a month to dig it in this soil. Well, not quite a month, but it took a long time. Now, this pole is actually sitting on another pole. That's why you can, you can 
twist the pole, you can move it. And in doing so, that other pole that's in there is actually in the ground one foot and then it's cemented. So this whole thing is grounded. So the panels are grounded to the unistruts. And the unistruts then are all grounded to this guy here. And this guy here connects there, which is grounding there and into the uh, ground. So. so I should be fine on my grounding. This is it. I think it's a pretty nice system so far. And uh, tell me what you guys think. I got to still put this thing in the ground. I know some of you right now are saying, hey, electrical lines need to be 18 inches in the ground. Well, my county says I am, my system is too small to go for a code. So I should follow code, but I don't have to. So small enough. Anyhow, Jeff Arizona Hot Homestead. Don't forget to catch the other videos on my solar system. And uh, so you can learn all about it. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comments. And I guess I'll see you folks on the next video.